Mr. Chancellor, Madam President, Madam Sanson Verer, colleagues from Carlton, families, friends, and most important, the graduates. You have a, an extra one today. It is my honor today to present to you Madam Andre Lotti, founding president of La Cité Collégiale here in Ottawa, and a dear friend for many years. After 20 years of growing this icon for French language, it's post-secondary education in this region. Madame Lorty is moving on. Pour moi, c'est un grand plaisir de vous présenter une personne exceptionnelle. Elle est de notre région et d'un de nos institutions de l'éducation post-secondaire. Une pédagogue extraordinaire. André Lotti trained as a teacher and pursued that vocation for a while, but soon discovered her passion for the support and development of opportunities for education in the language of Molière, for French, for Francophones outside of Quebec. Appointed to La Cité Collégiale in 1990, she started the college without a formal home. In the early days, courses were offered in a variety of locations in the east end of the city, and we can, she can maybe tell us about some of those places, until the present campus on Aviation Parkway rose from the mud to its present size, and it's expanding continually. On that site, I think the only building that originally was a chapel, which is still there. So literally, I guess, the, you could say La Cité went from the grave to the cradle. Today, La Cité is the predominant Canadian French language college outside of Quebec, enjoying a phenomenal growth in direction set under the 20 years voyage of André's leadership. C'est une champion de fervente avec un succès remarquable pour l'éducation au niveau collégial pour les francophones en dehors du Québec. Madame Lotoy has assumed a role throughout Ontario for the educational rights of the francophone population and has been heavily involved and instrumental, therefore, in many partnership developments, realizing that a region and a city's economic health depends heavily on the education of its citizens, whatever their heritage or background. For this, she has been awarded, amongst many other awards and recognitions, the Order of Ontario and Lord du Monde du Mérite de la République Française. Her leadership and social commitment to the Francophone community is without parallel has seen us sought out and appointed to numerous boards, commissions, both provincially and federally, in increasingly influential roles. Her activities have served as a role model for those who are seeking a focused approach to educational opportunities. Mr. Chancellor, the person standing, and for a long time it seems, before you today is not only a college president par excellence, but a proud Ottawa citizen and a proud Canadian, an avid and knowledgeable gardener. She just told me that she knows every single insect in any garden. A daily swimmer, a hiker, and a nature lover. Monsieur Chancelier, en raison de son leadership dynamique et enthousiasme éternel pour l'éducation pour les francophones en dehors du Québec, et en plus pour le développement productif des partenariats dans la région d'Ottawa, je vous prie d'accorder le grade de Doctor of Laws honoris causa à Madame André Lotti. Mr. Chancellor, in recognition of her dynamic leadership and unflagging enthusiasm for the education of Francophones, as well as the development of productive partnerships within the Ottawa region and elsewhere, I request that you confer the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa upon Madame André Lotti. By virtue of my authority, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa. Thank you. 
John is always too generous. I've known him for 20 years, and I've got to say I'm always a bit fearful when I hear that he's got to say some comments about me because he has a wicked sense of humor, and this morning I must say he exercised a lot of control. Monsieur le Chancelier, the Right Honorable Herb Gray, Madame la Présidente, Dr. Rosanne Ronté, Madame Sanson Véro, members of the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, new graduates of Carleton University, Mesdames et Messieurs. I wish, first and foremost, to thank you for the honor you bestow upon me today through this honorary uh, doctorate. I accept it with gratitude and humility in the name of all of those with whom, over the last 20 years, I have had the privilege to share the dream and the adventure that has been La Cité Collégiale, the first French College of Applied Arts and Technology in Ontario. Comme vous aujourd'hui, Monsieur le Chancelier, Madame la Présidente, j'ai vécu avec la même fierté toutes les cérémonies de remise de diplôme de La Cité Collégiale au cours des deux dernières décennies. Il faut voir l'étincelle dans les yeux de nos diplômés et de leurs proches, étincelle qui nous parle de la fin d'une étape, du début d'une autre, d'une transition riche en possibilités, d'une aventure qui s'amorce, d'une possibilité unique de créer. This morning, as I address you, dear graduate, I invite you to reflect on the extraordinary moment you are currently living as you turn over a new leaf and prepare to meet your future. Yours that is that, that a future that is yours to mold and to create. I encourage you to believe in your goals, to take risks, to achieve your aspirations, to dream big, both for yourself, your inner circle, and your community. A new beginning offers countless possibilities to explore and dreams to fulfill. Nearly 25 years ago, a small team of passionate individuals took the plunge to realize the dream of a community to establish the first French college in Ontario. In 8990, as you do today, we regarded the future with trepidation, confidence, and apprehension. We knew the dream was bold. We knew our project was deeply important and full of possibilities. We were convinced of the necessity of its realization for Franco-Ontarians and all of Ontario. We were well aware that it would not be easy and that we would need plenty of perseverance and that to achieve our goals, we would have to find innovative ways of getting things done. More than anything, we understood that the only way our vision would come to pass was with the support of our community, of our partners. You are about to embark on a new chapter in your life. Let me draw a parallel with what, with what La Cité Collégiale's team went through since its creation. Like all of you, we had a dream. Our dream, certainly our challenge, was to facilitate access to quality college education for Ontario's Francophones. It was an ambitious goal. Many doubted it would be possible. After all, would Francophones of the province really want to study in French in an Ontario where the workplace was predominantly English or at very best bilingual? It wasn't simple. We had to be willing to take risks. We had to have a lot of confidence in our ability and, shall I say, not a small amount of recklessness. But despite it all, we were convinced of the need to succeed, whatever the cost, and of the fact that failure was not an option. Why? Because we had the deeply rooted belief that La Cité Collégiale would become an essential tool for the development and the blossoming of our whole community. Why? Because we carried the hopes of our community. To develop and fulfill its potential, our community needed institutions like La Cité Collégiale, the Montfort Hospital, French language school boards, Ontario's public uh, sector television, TFO, institutions that allow Franco-Ontarians to live their lives and celebrate their culture in French. In its 20 years of existence, La Cité has indeed become one of the defining institutions of our community, one that strengthens us and allows us to grow. La Cité Collégiale allows Ontario's Francophones to contribute fully to the development of Ontario and of Francophone communities outside of Quebec. It reinforces the linguistic and cultural duality that defines us as Canadians. Today, La Cité offers annually to 15,000 students and clients from Ontario and all over Canada over 90 programs in fields as varied and diverse as media, health, technology, and technical trades. 
Its reputation in the province is well established and it continues to grow. What led to such convincing, spectacular results? For you, who celebrate today your achievement and prepare for what's ahead, this question can be food for thought. I believe there are five ingredients to La Cité Collégiale's winning recipe. First, a wide-ranging vision that over the years expanded and evolved. An enduring passion, perseverance despite serious challenges, the capacity to create and reinvent itself, and a profound belief in the need to join forces to partner. First, the vision. This vision, this mission, this mandate to improve access to French language college education in Ontario had inspired the Francophone community to create the first French language college, had convinced our federal and provincial politician to invest millions towards the creation of La Cité, and has remained at the heart of the institution's raison d'être, priorities and strategies. Then our passion, the passion that drove the college's founders never faded. When we asked La Cité Collégia's employees, students, graduates, partners, what terms best describe the college, the word passion always comes up. Working at La Cité remains more of a calling than a career. It would have been impossible to participate in partnerships as complex as the Consortium National de Formation en Santé without the contribution of professionals whose involvement reaches vastly beyond their contractual obligations. What about perseverance? Well, euphoria, the exhilaration of new beginnings, a team that thrives on passion and enthusiasm, yes, these are necessary ingredients. However, in order to achieve long-term success, one must persevere despite difficulties, never give up, continue to believe, seek support, and accept help to make it through tough times. At the end of the 90s, La Cité was faced with a 20% reduction in its funding. It was a difficult period for all colleges and, and universities, but especially so for a college that was still starting up. The team carried on, sought solutions, stayed the course with the support of the community and its partners. And innovation? Well, over our 25 years of existence and planning, we have reinvented ourselves as the job market evolved, society changed, and new technologies appeared. We have had to learn to educate students for jobs and trades that previously did not exist or that have undergone radical transformations. The success of La Cité stems from its capacity to tailor its training to a changing environment and to technologies that have yet to be on the market and who may be deemed outdated in two years' time. But when all is said and done, the success of the college can be attributed to a sense of partnership, ingrained in our values and woven in our organizational culture. If La Cité Collégiale managed to continue to move forward when challenges arose, if it sustained its passion, if it created and reinvented itself within a perpetually changing environment, it is because it was accompanied by partners who shared its values, respected its differences, and valued their relationship. Instead of shutting out the world or otherwise isolating ourselves, either by fear of others or in a spirit of competition, we chose to embrace numerous partners. In particular, let me point out our ties with universities, with which we have developed many articulation agreement, our ties with employers in the region, both English and French speaking, of whom more than 400 are members of advisory committees, our ties with Canada-wide partners from New Brunswick to BC, thanks to which we have been able to grow and support the development of communities outside of Quebec, our ties with various levels of government, municipal, provincial, federal, with which over the years we have had many dealings and who have provided unconditional support. In conclusion, the adventure of La Cité Collégiale for me has been as successful and gripping as it has because I have had the immense privilege of being the president that of a college that never could have been without an indescribable effort of cooperation, partnership, vision, innovation within our community in its broadest sense. This unbelievable journey as molded citizens who make a difference in the world they live in through the values, the relationships, the models, and the inner energy they have drawn from La Cité Collégiale. Dear graduates, you have had the privilege over the last years of gaining knowledge and skills, but also of developing a critical, analytical, and creative mind. You must, in the coming years, create, invent, imagine, question. As always, the end of one phase is the beginning of another. 
in order for you to grow as a person, in order to fully contribute to your respective communities, you must continue to view education and training as a lifelong journey. Over the last few years, you had a dream, you realized that dream, you made it come true. You succeeded despite all kinds of difficulties, both personal and academic. You had it in you to persevere. You were, in most cases, able to rely on parents, friends, mentors, professors, staff to support you in times of need. Also, during your stay at Carleton University, you developed a wide network of colleagues and friends. In your future endeavors, never forget. Never forget what you did, what you were able to do. Whatever your situation, dreams or aspirations, know that you have the ability to shape the future of our communities and to create a better world. It's quite a responsibility, it's quite a challenge, but it's also quite an opportunity. C'est toute une responsabilité, c'est tout un défi, mais c'est aussi toute une opportunité. Congratulations et bonne chance.